All my sins, I can't say these Cause my last name ain't Kent Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent Working on the pole, that's the way back to my channel my name is Keisha if you're new here and thank you for clicking on today's video welcome to week five of the 75 is soft challenge it is 120 the day has flown by I've been so busy today and I still haven't even gotten week four up I really wanted it up by now I'm not even done editing like I'm almost done going back through and adding edits but I'm like so behind and I if you guys watched that video I was sick for a good chunk of last week so I'm still a little congested so that's why my voice sounds like this but we are surviving. But all I've had today was a protein shake and I'm hungry. It's 1.20, but I have a call at 1.30. So I need to eat something quick. I still have to do my workout today. I decided to just do it later because I Luke said I had a bunch of calls. I had an interview. I'm still trying to get this video up. Like I was like, I'm just gonna have to do it later. I might just make a soup. I know we're having soup for dinner. We have been eating this beef and barley soup for dinner. We have chickpea and noodle instead of chicken and noodle. And it has 17 grams of protein. I'm gonna have this. I'm just gonna make a can of this. So yes, yeah, 17 grams of protein. I know these have a ton of sodium. Oh my God, this can has so much sodium. You guys are new here. This is Zora and this is Maisie. Maisie's the baby, even though you guys are the same size. That's Callie. Wow. You can tell I'm making food because literally all three of them. Oh. I am only one bottle of water deep, so I need to fill this up and get on it. Bottle number two. I've been kind of like in my second bottle adding in like Mio or something just for a little extra flavor. Just because, you know, I've been good about drinking water for the most part. Last week with being sick, I didn't hit it as many times as I should have, but I have a strawberry melon Mio. So I don't use it every time I fill my water bottle, but usually for like my second one when I'm kind of like, okay, I'm kind of bored of this water. It just like adds a little extra. So I'll just do like four pumps, four pumps, four squirts. But yeah, I've been liking this just to kind of help drink some more water help me feel less daunting like yeah this it still tastes like water but just like a little aftertaste of like a flavor which is good that has been helping a lot <sighs> busy season for work is also in full swing it's getting busy again so that's why i have like so much going on this is my lunch so i'm gonna eat this and i my call okay i've decided i'm not even gonna try to rush getting this video up today i'm just gonna get up tomorrow it doesn't make it's not gonna make a difference if i just upload it tomorrow I'm gonna get up tomorrow instead so then I can like stop trying to like rush through it. And yeah, it's already two o'clock. I haven't even like exported it yet. I have a thumbnail or anything. I don't like to post too late. So I'm like, I'll probably just post it in the morning. It's about an hour later. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not even like hungry. I'm just like snacky. So I had like a thin mint and I was like, no, we're not gonna sit here and eat a whole box of Girl Scout cookies. We're gonna have a nice healthy snack. I'm trying to save like the Girl Scout cookies for dessert. So I was like, we can have one. And now we're gonna have a healthy snack, so. Make a little yogurt bowl. I'm just gonna do some Greek yogurt. I wish I had bananas, but I don't at the moment. So I'm gonna just do this vanilla Greek yogurt because this has, I think, 50, yeah, 15 grams of protein. And I think I'm just gonna put some strawberries and blueberries in there and maybe like a little bit of granola. I was like, okay, you're craving something sweet clearly because you want these cookies. So let's make a little sweet snack. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. All right, we don't have a lot of granola left. We have like a little bit of this peanut butter protein granola from Trader Joe's. I really wanna go to Trader Joe's, maybe this weekend. We'll see, but don't have a lot left. I don't want a lot anyway. I'm just gonna do like, just a little sprinkle. That is my snack. It's 
402, about to go do my workout. I think I'm just gonna do a long walk. I kind of wanna, if you guys were watching, I was doing my jump rope challenge, but I haven't done it in a few days since I got sick and like my chest has been stuck. Like I've been all like congested, but I think I'm gonna try to do it today. treadmill walk so I'm done today basically just did cardio for the day so I'm gonna go take another shower and then I'm gonna do some work from the couch until Cody's home and walks the dogs and it's time for dinner but I'm gonna go fill up my third water bottle after I take my shower because I have a little bit left so we're doing good randomly craving like a little pre-dinner snack I don't know so I just I don't know I'm gonna have a piece of cheese, a piece of like Colby Jack cheese, and then we just have these saltines from all our soups. So I'm just gonna split up the piece of cheese over a few saltines. Super random, but Cody took the dogs out and I'm like, I just want something. So I'm just gonna do this. Six o'clock, time for bottle number three. He said he wanted to get his ass beat and just yet. So, I'm gonna get a little extra cardio. <laughs> oh. oh, I'll beat ya! That was close though. <clears throat> yeah, it was. I was just <laughs> slightly better. Mega star! And you're just a superstar. <laughs> What's it like being on the bottom? It's bad. It's like being a peasant. <laughs> Two. That's funny. <laughs> Guess your starships weren't meant to fly. I guess not. I'm sweating. Is this Ooh. a good workout? I won one, or one three, lost one. R.I.P. Jazzy. finished atomic habits which is so exciting so we i think i'm gonna stop at i have some tours today so i think i'm either gonna go there's like a barnes and noble nearby or a local bookstore or just target whatever is close by that's so where i'm gonna be touring i'm gonna go and get another book probably it's gonna end up being like a target or something but yeah we'll see what book we get next for our little non-fiction slash like self-helpy book We are doing a little midday Target run. It's warm today. My car is, it's like 67 in here. It is pretty toasty, but we're doing a little midday Target run. Cody wants pasta for dinner, so I just need to get some stuff for that. And then I need a new book because I finished Atomic Habits this morning, so I need to get a new book. And I need just like a couple like body things. So we're just gonna do a little Target run. I just finished my tour. I have the rest of the day. I need to go home and do some work, but I'm excited to go to Target. So hot, oh my God. Whew. Sweating, if I knew it was gonna be this hot, I wouldn't have worn this outfit, I'm sweating today. I got a little bag of um, these like mini white cheddar baked corn puff 
chips just by the good and gather brand because i'm hungry <sighs> so hot oh my god okay i'm home and we are gonna do a little target haul well first i got a couple things from amazon that i was like i might as well just show you guys first actually i noticed <laughs> One of these packages was like literally on the side of my house. Like I was like outside with the dogs. I just saw this sitting between my house and the neighbor's house. And I thought this was getting delivered yesterday. So I was wondering where it was. Um, but I just went over Jax and I was like, sure enough, it's my package. But it's got a new brow pencil. I always just order this on Amazon because it's like $3 and some change. It's just like the wet and wild one. And then I got this sports bra. So I need more sports bras. I've been like looking back on the footage of me jump roping. And some of my bras just aren't good for jumping. So it's like seeing the bounce, which is hard when you have bigger boobs. But I was like, I want to try to get some more sports bras that I think would work. So this one had decent reviews. I think it was like 16 bucks. Mm. Okay, maybe. I think it was like $16. So so that's all, literally that's all I got from Amazon. And then pet store wise, I got Callie some more litter. And it's in your litter box. I got Maisie more food. I think this is going to be her last bag of puppy food before her and Zora can start sharing food. So that'll be nice. So I'm gonna buy like two separate bags all the time. And then yeah, very random Target haul. So we got a family size bag of goldfish just cause we don't have any like chips or snacks right now. And I always like when we don't have them because then I don't eat them, but sometimes I just want them. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a little bag of goldfish. I got some angel hair pasta because Cody wanted angel hair. And then I got myself, I didn't think he would like this. So I got myself some bonza pasta. I got the rotini. So I don't think I've ever tried the bonza pasta. I think that's how you say it, bonza. But it's made from chickpeas and it has 28 grams of protein per serving. So it's like a high protein pasta option. So I was like, okay, if we're gonna have pasta, I at least want it to be super high protein. So that with the ground turkey, hopefully is like a good amount of protein. I got a bag of shredded cheese, mainly because I always put this on Zora's food and I wanted some for my eggs this morning, but didn't have any. I got two of these. It's already 422. I haven't had lunch yet, but I might put one of these on some Oh no. I like the chicken creations because I don't like tuna. And I grabbed two of these, but apparently I accidentally grabbed a tuna. But I meant to just grab chicken. You know what? I really want to get into tuna. I don't like tuna, but I really want to like tuna. Maybe this is my sign. Maybe trying the flavored ones, like a hot buffalo, not one that's like mixed in like mayo and stuff. Maybe I'll like it. We're gonna try tuna. We try it. Let's source that could happen. I accidentally bought it, so now I'm gonna have to eat it. And then I got this. Um, it's from the Good and Gather brand, creamy Cajun inspired cooking sauce. So I thought this would be good because we just have some chicken in the freezer. We have like basmati rice, and I was like, this could be good to just mix in with the chicken too. Just like. Switch it up a little bit. This was on sale, so I got this. Cody loves steak, but I just hate buying steaks. It's always so expensive, but I think it's because it expires in two days or like the sell-by date is in two days. So it's a two pack of top sirloin steak. It was on sale for like $12.54. So I was like, okay, we can have some steak. <laughs> and then I got two things. So two pounds of the Genio 90% lean ground turkey. I'm gonna have this with the protein. Yeah, this is 19 grams of protein for a serving. So this with the bonza pasta, it's almost 40 grams of protein almost 40 grams of protein just for a serving of pasta, which we love. <laughs> and then I got two jars of the Good and Gather, just tomato, basil, and garlic pasta sauce. Callie, can you get off the counter? What are you doing? You're not supposed to be on the counter. Got some bananas, because I've been out for a few days and have been mixing my bananas. And then now for the more fun stuff, I got two sports bras to try. I used to get my workout stuff from Target all the time. I just haven't in a while. So I want to try these because they're the all in motion. They have medium support. So we'll see, but I got two, I think they were like 16 bucks each. And I got this in gray. I like these like longer ones. I feel like, I don't know. I like these type of sports bras recently. So I got one in gray and one in white. So now I have three new sports bras, which is so fun. And then I got some body stuff. So I know some people, I know this is very like, I feel like this is like a controversial type product, but I like it, so whatever. Um, I got the Summer's Eve, um, just like one of the little washes for down there. This one's coconut and aloe. And then I needed more shaving cream, so I got the EOS of Vanilla Bliss, I love this. I just like love all like vanilla type scents in the shower. And then I got the St. Ives Oatmeal and Shea Butter Body Wash. I got a three pack of gum, just cause I feel like I always want gum, especially when I'm touring and I have my coffee and I'm talking all day, I'm like, 
don't my breath to be sticky. Sorry. And then I got a couple ordinary products. I almost they almost got me a, they, they almost got me today because all of the minis at like the Ulta section in Sephora were buy one get one free. So I was like, I don't need a bunch of mini products. So I didn't do it, but I was close. But I got two products from the ordinary. So I got the um, peeling solution, which I've never tried, but I've seen good things. And I think I'm very, I've been really interested in trying this. I think I'm gonna try it tonight. Not use it, do not use it more than twice a week. So it is a peeling solution. So it says 10, mi 10 minute exfoliating facial. Well, it almost looks like blood. And then I got some of the retinol because I don't have any more my actual like retinol apply. I always get so confused on the order and applying skincare. I was literally watching TikTok last night and I was like, when do I apply things? But it says apply a small amount to face in the PM as part of your skincare regimen after water-based serums, but before heavier treatments. I get so freaking confused on when to apply what. I don't know why it's the most confusing thing in the world to me. I got the seven habits of highly affected people. Heard good things has good reviews on Goodreads. So I figured we'll read another habits book to go along with this challenge. So we will see what we think, but I'm gonna start this tomorrow morning. It almost looks like newspaper writing. I don't know how I love, I don't think I love the pages. I kept putting it back. They didn't have too many options there. Like there was a books a million like down the street. I just didn't feel like stopping somewhere else. So, but yeah, like, so this has really good reviews on like Goodreads and I've heard good things. So we're gonna try that. I wish I didn't even have any more bread because I would've got some more at Target. All we have is this like white bread that Cody got. I usually like to eat like the low cal like wheat bread. I'm scared. I don't know why. I, it's one of those things that I feel like if I have it in my head that I'm not gonna like it, I'm not gonna like it. And see, I'm a person that likes to smell everything and I'm like, don't smell it. Cause if you smell it, it's gonna ruin it. But I almost wanna smell it. Okay. Mm, it smells like childhood. So I'm just gonna put like a teeny bit of some light ranch on here as well. Okay. Girl tries tuna for the first time. Reaction literally how I feel right now. 70 calories and 15 grams of protein. This is 15 grams of protein for 70 calories. That's amazing. So I want to be a tuna girl, but that's why I got the chicken one because I think the chicken one's still a good protein and calories, but they don't have as many flavors for chicken. Okay. We're gonna pretend this is chicken. In my head, I'm like, we're eating chicken. I like sushi. Like I like seafood and sushi, but then I like shrimp, but I don't like like, I don't love salmon and like tuna, like, I don't know. Things that aren't in like sushi type fish, not for me. Honestly, it's not bad. I think it's just cause I have it in my head that I don't like it, that I can't like, it's like making me be like, are you sure? Like, but I don't love it. I think it's like the fact that it's tuna and I have my head like in my head. I think that's what's freaking me out. I'm not a very picky person. Like genuinely, I like a lot of food, but seafood is something that freaks me out. Probably will still just stick to the chicken ones, but the tuna, it's not bad. But I'll probably still ch stick to the chicken. Ordinary peel. It looks like I just got micro needling done. That's what it looks like right now. Good morning. Happy day 30. Happy day 30. Um, we are gonna start reading the seven habits of highly affected people today. I just hate the cover and like the way it's printed. I don't know. It's just like it's it gives old. Um, but it's fine. So yeah, we're gonna read our 10 pages. What? She's Double trouble. Double trouble. Double trouble. I'm so tired. They got up like right before five. It's 5.34 right now. They got up at like four. 55. My brain, like I have to keep rereading because my brain is just not comprehending anything because I feel like I keep like almost like dozing off. <laughs> I 
Now I am so tired today. Oh my gosh, I don't know why. I'm like dragging this morning. What? I still need to take the girls out. You guys wanna go for a walk? You do, you wanna go for a walk. You wanna go for a walk. I'm in a very chocolatey mood this morning, so I'm gonna have this little pudding cup, and then I'm gonna have my cookies and cream protein shake. So, it's me and my like chocolate. I was gonna make like a baked oat, I just literally don't feel like making anything right now. I'm feeling very lazy today. So we're gonna just go with this. She's like, come down. Dora, get down. They're like, hey, like, hey what are you doing? Come to us. Get down. <laughs> hey, stop, guys. Stop. Go. <laughs> Just got home from the park. We walked around for like an hour. So I'm like, debating if I want to do a workout or if I want to count that as a workout because we walked for an hour. I was like, an hour walk, plus go walk in it earlier. I walked for like an hour and 45 minutes today. Uh, but I just got home, I'm gonna have a little yogurt bowl because I'm a little hungry. So let's make that. Saturday. I slept in late today. It's 9 30 and I'm about to go chill on the couch for a while and have my coffee because it's a rainy day outside. So I'm have a chill day at home. I look crazy this morning, but I'm about to make some breakfast. <laughs> it's like 12 o'clock. Um, we're going to go to an all you can eat like sushi restaurant for dinner tonight that we love. Um, if you're in the Nashville area, it's in Madison and it's called Sushi Kingdom and we love it. So we're going there for dinner tonight. So I'm going to try to eat light today so I can one, save my calories for later. I'm definitely gonna probably eat over, but save my calories and two, you just be hungry enough. Whenever I go to like anything that is like all you can eat, I'm like, I wanna be starving because I want to just devour it all and get my money's worth. So that's what the dinner, so that's the dinner plan for tonight. But I think I'm just gonna make a couple like eggs and like some turkey bacon right now, just cause I kinda want something and I just kinda want something a little savory. Okay, I realized we didn't have my turkey bacon. So I just made two egg whites, one full egg, put some spinach, put a little bit of Kobe chuck cheese on it and then two pieces of regular bacon. We just have like this like low sodium bacon. So have this for my um, 12 o'clock breakfast. Oh, this weather makes me, me, makes me not want to do anything. But I told myself, I'm like, you know what? Even if you just walk on the treadmill for 45 minutes, that's fine. Sometimes when I do that, I'll either like literally be lazy and just walk or I'll start walking and then kind of get in the mood and then end up doing more of a workout, so. As long as I move my body, I don't really care. So I'm gonna start and just do a treadmill walking. I still have to do my jump roping, but I'm like, even if I just do jump rope and treadmill and no like strength training or anything today, I'm okay with that. As long as I do some kind of workout. So instead of laying on the couch and watching YouTube, I'm gonna make myself walk and watch YouTube. But yeah, I'm feeling quite lazy today, but these are the days that are the most important to get up and move your body and like follow through. It's like the days that you really don't want to, you just need to find the discipline and you need to do it. So let's do it. Calf muscles are looking a little strong. Dogs. It is so nice out today. Like I'm literally took my jacket off. It's so nice. So took him on a longer walk than normal. 
probably gonna do about two and a half miles. When it's been cold out, we just do like a mile and call it there. But more of it's nice out, I like to, and especially it's a Sunday, I don't have much going on today. So doing a little longer. So yeah, we're on track for, my watch died, but just from doing this route before, we're on track to do like two and a half miles or so. Making some dinner. All right, have a little steak dinner. Some steak, a little loaded baked potato with some like bacon, sour cream, cheese, chives, and some green beans. Happy day 35. We're like halfway through this challenge. I'm so tired lately. My hair, oh my gosh. I've been exhausted lately. 6.30. I really wanted to be up early today, but I'm, I don't know what it is the last few days, like last four days I have been just absolutely exhausted. I'm trying a new syrup, I got white chocolate mocha. All right, time to read. I wish we could've got a few more hours of sleep. I wish we could've got a few more hours of sleep. just took the grills on a walk and now I'm about to drink this premier protein shake um, and go pick up the groceries I'm really hungry so I'm gonna have this and we're just gonna go run and do the grocery pickup really quick I'll be right back I have a very long work day today so we're trying to get as much done as possible this morning okay I'm in a little bit of a rush this morning so I don't have time to like lay everything out and show you guys the grocery haul. I'm just gonna show you guys as I like unbox things. So we got a restock of our Frescas and Coke Zeros. We get these probably like, we get these probably like every three to four weeks. Um, so they were buy two, get three free, which was amazing. So I got two Coke Zeros, which I love, and then three Frescas, because we both love these. Both no calories, no sugar or anything. So we love these with dinner. And then Cody wanted a bag of grapefruit, so I got a bag of grapefruit. I got some turkey sausage links. I don't know, I've been craving turkey. Kind of wanted to switch up having like turkey bacon and do sausage, so I got those. Cody wanted some shredded hash browns, which I would probably take advantage of too. Well, that's good. One and a fourth cup is 60 calories. That's pretty good. So this might be good for like a good like breakfast scramble with some eggs. Got a bag of chicken. We already have some chicken in the fridge, but I'm gonna do, I think tonight, either a general sauce chicken or this like chicken with the sauce I got from Target. I'll show you guys tonight whatever we end up making, but I'm gonna leave this out so it can defrost. And then we got some ground turkey. Cody wanted these little protein pizza crusts to make little like lunches. He also wanted some hamburger helper, hamburger helper stroganoff for his lunches. Um, we needed some more olive oil spray. I got some more no sugar added apple juice for my ginger shots. We got some pizza sauce for his little pizzas. We have some soups in the pantry. I just got a couple more. I've just been loving these soups for lunch just cause it's so easy and I'm lazy. Um, so I got an Italian wedding soup and then the chickpea and noodle. I actually really like this one and has more protein in it. So we got that. He got pepperoni for his pizzas. Oh, whoa, this one's big. I got a thing of strawberry melon mio. I've been really liking this flavor and I've been just liking this for my water, help me get more water in. I did not realize, this is the one that I already have, it's almost gone. Look at that, I didn't realize it was this big. This one was on sale though, I think it was like three something. So, not mad about that. This is my favorite bread, it's the whole life, uh, the Lewis whole life, or Lewis whole wheat bread and it's um, 35 calories a slice, so that's my favorite bread. I got some more of these, if I ever want like an easy lunch or a snack, these chicken creations that you guys saw in the beginning of the video. So I just got two more and actually made sure they, I ordered chicken, not tuna. I got this white chocolate mocha creamer, like I said, just to mix a teeny bit of this with the syrup, just to make it more white chocolatey. Got this orange juice, this was actually, Kroger has such good coupons sometimes, it was, um, for free, it was like a free Tropicana juice. So we got that, because Cody loves his orange juice in the morning. Got some bagels, got some shredded mozzarella cheese for his pizzas, and then some more cream cheese. Two bags of broccoli, it's our like go-to vegetable for dinner, so I have two recipes in mind, and we're gonna have broccoli for both. Got two green peppers. Cody wanted some chorizo. He had chorizo for the first time yesterday, and that like Dunkin' breakfast sandwich, so 
Now he wanted some chorizo. Got some unsweetened almond milk. I usually get pink lady apples, but this bag was on sale for $2.99. It was Envy apples. So I figured we'd give these a shot because literally same price as like two or three of the pink lady apples. I got six bananas. And then lastly, we've got some more eggs. So we got 18 large eggs. I know I say this, but we have other stuff in the freezer already. We still have spinach from our last grocery haul and like lettuce. Like I said, I did forget lettuce, I did forget tomato and onion, but it's okay. Um, but we already have a bunch of stuff. So this is more like little restock. We have like a lot of um, meat in the freezer and stuff. I want everything done in 10 minutes. I'm gonna go do my workout and my jump rope. Oh wait, we already have two bags of frozen chicken. <laughs> well, now we have lots of chicken. <laughs> wait, didn't I order a yogurt? Wait, I ordered like yogurt, I got strawberries, I got blueberries. Either I'm missing a bag or I swear sometimes the Kroger app gets so fit. Okay, I'm trying the new workout top that I got from Target today. If you're someone that's more insecure about your midsection, I think these type of workout tops are great because it doesn't cut off like here. It's like more like a crop top. Alrighty, it's that time of the week where we end this week's video and do a little recap. So we are pretty much halfway through the challenge almost and I'm still feeling good. So a couple things, I feel like, I don't feel like I vlogged that much this week. I haven't gone through this footage yet, but I feel like I didn't vlog that much this week. I feel like I could have done better this week, like overall in the challenge, to like to be like fully honest. I feel like when it comes to eating, like I feel like I ate overall pretty good, but I definitely like slacked more than normal or more than I have been. And then when it came to water, like there was two days and then drink hit my water goal and it was really a challenge to get there. But yeah, I still feel good. Like I make, didn't like lose anything this week, I don't think, but didn't gain. I feel like it's kind of stable. So I feel like I'm kind of like eating at maintenance, like working out, keeping everything at maintenance, but like obviously I'm still trying to lose weight. So, I definitely need to get back into the intensity that I had the last few weeks. So I'm, I think this was like a kind of like a little midway point, but this also, also was the first full week after last week. If you guys watched last week's video where I was sick and I kind of said like trying to get back into it after being sick is usually pretty hard. So I feel like I'm giving myself grace. Like I still did my workouts. I still ate relatively good. I'm like not mad at myself. I feel like I still did overall okay, but I was definitely, definitely not as good as I could have been and I have been, so. The goal for next week is to dive in and get back to increasing the workouts even more. Um, maybe do some more classes, we'll see, but I've been loving jump roping and like really tighten up on the eating some more. It's kind of what I'm thinking, but I am happy. I feel like I did a good job finding balance this week and like I said, and like ate pretty much kind of just like maintained the weight with like having some more flexibility with my diet and like what I eat and like going out to eat and stuff, which is great. Like I love, that I'm like finding that balance, which I think is important, but just right now at this like specific stage of life that I'm in, I'm trying to lose. And like, I love the idea of being able to like eat and maintain and just like be, I would be a free for all, but we're not quite there yet, but it's better than gaining. So I'm not mad about that, but yeah, those are kind of my thoughts. Um, but yeah, now that we're like about to be halfway through this challenge, I really, really, really want to focus, dial it in and just go hard for the second half of this challenge and see how much progress we can make. So those are my overall thoughts as of now. But thank you so much for watching this video anyway. I hope that it wasn't, I hope that it was okay. I don't know, like I said, I haven't looked through the footage at all. I don't know what I filmed over the last week, but I just know it wasn't that much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Subscribe if you wanna see more of the 75 Soft Challenge. And I will have the playlist linked up here and down below if you guys wanna check it out. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let him take my soul.